Hey guys, another book review for you. This time it's uh, The Pulse uh, by Scott B. Williams. Um, similar uh, in uh, the book One Second After, uh, because it's about an EMP. This one, the EMP is not because of a nuclear bomb going off, uh, but a solar flare. And it doesn't much matter why the EMP occurred, but uh, basically renders all electronics um, dead. Uh, no cars are going to run uh, unless they were pre, what, 1970-something, where you had a points and condenser type ignition. Um, the modern cars will not work because of the electronics, the uh, microprocessors. Anyway, very good story. It alternates one chapter on one uh, group of people and the other uh, chapter on another group. It's basically a guy and uh, his brother are out in the Caribbean. Uh, he's out there for a vacation. The brother lives out there and they are um, delivering a boat. And, uh, you know, it kind of centers around what happens when these guys encounter this EMP. The other uh, part of the story is the guy's daughter is in New Orleans. And she um, has to put up with the effects of the EMP uh, and the, the chaos that ensues. Uh, she meets up with some people that are helpful um, not going to give the book away by telling you too much about it, but really good story. I like this a lot better than One Second After. The story, um, maybe it was the characters, uh, maybe it was the storyline itself, but around the same uh, length, 350 pages or thereabouts, uh, 12 chapters. Really good book. Uh, enjoyed the heck out of it. I would recommend it to anyone. It's called The Pulse. And it gets into a lot of the things you'll need uh, as far as um, mental preparations for any kind of civil unrest or bug out situation. So good book, The Pulse by Scott B. Williams. Uh, check it out. Uh, we'd love your comments, so uh, go ahead and leave your comments and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.